Uh, for us, in the hydrocarbon market, we're supplying equipment into gas processing, into petrochemical, ethylene processing, uh, refinery off-gas processing. So basically, each and every job is completely different. And what we've done to uh, address that is we have a certain amount of standard components and a certain amount of uh, co components that can be customized or optimized for a given job. So this way we can do a competitive delivery, in fact very fast delivery sometimes, and yet get the high efficiencies that the customers need in their applications. Okay, so the beauty of this approach is that we can um, easily customize the machine in, I'll say, somewhat more innovative ways. For example, someone comes to us and has a higher inlet pressure than our standard components are designed for. This is not a problem. We know exactly what uh, to do from the engineering point of view, uh, from the manufacturing point of view, procurement point of view, testing point of view, to innovate with that new uh, pressure, be it a new pressure, what components are required to handle it, a uh, new gas composition. Uh, we know exactly how to handle it through our entire uh, process of manufacturing. So what we've brought here to show is uh, an example of our rotating assembly. So all of the critical parts are contained in this, and a customer will actually usually purchase one of these as a spare. So what you're not seeing is there's a big expander housing, and there's a big compressor housing on that side. Actually, they actually form the biggest part of the machine, but the critical parts are all in this uh, relatively small part. So this is the bearing housing. You see the, the shaft running through the middle connecting the expander wheel and the compressor wheel. So all the power produced by the expander wheel goes right through the shaft to the compressor wheel, where it's absorbed. Uh, in between the wheel and the bearing is a seal, a shaft seal, one on each side, and that keeps the process gas away from the bearing, keeps the oil away from the process. So from a uh, custom versus standard point of view, the standard parts would be the bearing housing, the shaft, the bearings, the seals, but the custom parts would be the impellers. So we're able to produce the blading required to get the most efficiency out of, given ap out of a given application. And on the compressor side, we have to design it to absorb all the power produced by the expander, while at the same time giving the highest boost possible out of the compressor.